Hey there Space Cats, it's me Jules. Every year around about this time, and it's Bank Holiday Monday in August here in the UK, every time around about this year I have the urge to get everything out of my studio and tidy up. Now because my studio is at the end of my garden, and my garden has a lot of wildlife in it, wildlife seems to come inside. And that can mean I spend quite a lot of time catching butterflies and bees and hoverflies and things like that that come in and try and escape up into my roof lights. But, full disclosure, I also get some spiders in here. And I am not a big fan of large spiders. I don't mind the little ones, I don't mind the medium sized ones, and I don't even mind the skinny ones. But the big ones, that you know they've got tattoos and you can see the whites of their eyes not so keen on those ones so if like me you are a bit of an arachnophobe then I will put markers in the video so you can skip past the bits where I find one because I happen to know over in that corner over there there is a big one behind my books and if you've seen any of my other drawing videos or any of my nature videos you'll know that I love nature and creatures. I wouldn't hurt spiders. I'm not gonna kill anything. What I'm gonna do is I have a cunning secret method and I'm gonna show you what I do with spiders to catch them at arm's length with a tool that everyone, most people have in their houses and how to do it. So keep watching for that. Normally I make videos on drawing, planning or publishing, anything to do with picture books or art and sometimes a little bit of mental health thrown in there too. Because mental health and art very much linked. So if that's your kind of thing then make sure you subscribe and ding the bell next to it so you get all of those notifications. I'm really happy that today is not a blazing hot sunny day, it's actually quite grey and cool outside and there's been threat of a little bit of drizzle. But I'm quite glad about that because I think on top of everything else, on top of the heavy work of getting everything out and dealing with the dreaded you know what is, I don't think I really want to also be hot and sweaty. So I'm quite pleased with the weather. Thank you weather gods. So this studio is not going to tidy itself. I think we ought to get on with it, don't you? Yes. My method for catching the hairies is to use a Henry Hoover or a vacuum cleaner of some description with a long attachment. As you can see, this is quite long, so I will be holding it at that end. The spider will be holding it at that end. But he's not going to go up the Hoover. I'm going to get a piece of material and stick it over the end and secure it with an elastic band really tightly so it's not going to go up. Pretty good. And I've also got a trusty bucket. Nothing in it yet. So the idea is when I see the spider at a very long distance I'm going to suck it onto the end of there, hold it over the bucket, turn the hoover off, 
and it should drop into the bucket and then I can go and put it somewhere else. So in a minute I'm gonna pull this out and see if I can find the spider that's behind there. <coughs> he may have moved on by now, who knows? Let's hope so. All right, come on Teddy. Teddy is spider free. I think it might actually be in the books. Because it's not on the outside. Are you in there? Hello? Anybody home? Gad zooks. That's a lot of spiders web in there. Well, I found something. It's not alive. Okay, I'm just going to go and put it outside, I think. Please don't be in there. Please don't be in there. Please don't be in there. Okay, so it is in there. It's behind that moose belongs to, this moose belongs to me by Oliver Jeffers, which I think is rude beyond belief. But it's outside now, so I'm going to leave it there until I decide what to do. I think I could just tip it out. Okay, next thing. Good news. I have managed to move the spider out of the box of books. I used the hoover trick and I put it in the bucket and I've taken it over the road where there's a little bit of a stream and I think she has gone to live over there. So. Bye bye. It worked! Hurrah! I've been running from myself so long. I've been running from my heart. Things have never been the same since you. Your backs and played your cards. Summer felt like autumn with the sun so bright and cold, but snow began to fall and there's a light. Searching courage to get up again in an armful of a friend. Between walls, we both know. So well, now's the time he stops pretending. La 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 la, I'm smiling, what is happening? La 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 la, oh my god, there's my life dressed every day. His well known eyes makes me. I'm just having a little chamomile tea to calm the old nerves and I'm going to make a little concoction. This is just filtered water at the moment but I'm going to put into it a few drops of bergamot, pure essential oil. And lavender. And peppermint. And then this should help keep creep coolies out with any luck. So I'm going to spray it around. Oh my god, there's my light dressed every day. His well known eyes makes me old. So it's only taken me three and a half hours, but I have finally collected everything out, put it in the 
garden, sweat, got the spiders out and now it looks lovely and tidy. So over here is where all my special books are, all my children's books and then some of my nature diaries from when I did Bloomin' Marvellous things that I need for filming and cleaning stuff that's my fold up table that I use quite often when I'm filming uh, all of my books for sale are underneath here in boxes and then on this side I've got my marquee for when I eventually go out and do market stalls again and craft um, events and book events and then up here are some of my supplies and my favourite books and now that box does not have any spiders in it I am very thrilled to say one thing I'm definitely going to need to tackle oh hello there's me in the reflection is as you can see out of this window this time last year there was none of that brambles climbing up there and I'm going to show you outside to show you where that is coming from this is outside of my studio and this used to be a garden a lovely garden but the person who owns the property decided to block it off so the person who now lives there cannot get to it cannot mow it or use it as a garden at all so it's just become a massive overgrown jungle and it's now coming up over my side and growing up over my studio and actually from my bedroom window I can see it's growing behind the studio as well which is not ideal so I'm gonna have to do something about that but there's lo loads of really yummy blackberries on it at the moment so I'm gonna let the birds have that it's lovely for wildlife you get loads of birds and butterflies coming through here but I need to do something about this because it's going to bring our fence down which this is our fence and it's also going to get underneath my studio and start causing all sorts of havoc so there we go there's that half the only trouble is I now have to tackle this half oh my goodness Well, hurrah! It's taken me most of the day. It's about two o'clock now, and I started at about nine o'clock this morning. But it's finally done. So, do you want to have a look around? On this side, I have my light box, and over in the corner there is where all my receipts go, and some nice smelly things, and then scissors, pens, uh, microphone that could probably go in my filming bit and the all-important budgie feathers in that pot there and then this is a paper trimmer that belonged to my dad um, I think I featured it in a video before actually it was from I'm thinking maybe the 1940s so clearly he didn't have it when it was first made but it was something that he had from his work and he um, I guess kept it and now I have it and I love it my funky old radio Robert's radio which I love very much uh, that was my standing desk but I didn't like the standing bit it made my knees ache actually so I went back to sitting again in my captain's chair at my PC and then underneath here is just loads of art supplies and things that I use for workshops, a bit of paint, some outdoor chairs that are actually gonna, we're gonna build a little shelter for those outside so they don't need to live in here anymore. And then up here, there's my printer up the top and now where some books are and paper recycling and rubbish. And then over this side, we have my fold up table that I use when I'm filming and my books, worktop, 
over in the corner my fave books and some more supplies and then that's it really you've seen the rest of it and underneath again I've put some gardening things and tools and then books and various other things that I just need to hide away really and that's my filming corner if you'd like further artist tutorials, I have a variety of short courses that will help you. There are real-time sessions looking at painting, drawing and marker pens, among others. And if you're keen on producing your own book, there is a more in-depth course on what you need to know about self-publishing a book with illustrations. And that covers making key decisions, how to make layouts and dummy books, rhythm and pacing, as well as several tutorials on illustrating your book, and a look at the tech. You can either hop over to my website or join me on Patreon for more information. Go on, give it a go! Well, there you have it. Now, I've no idea whether you're going to find this interesting or not. It was really just a bit of a vloggy kind of clean up day of just really needing to get this done. So I'm very pleased that I've done it and uh, I hope you've managed to stick with it as much as possible. I did actually, when I was over in that side, when I pulled out my paper shredder, which was underneath where I sit, where my captain's chair was, I did find probably the biggest spider I've ever seen in this country. I mean, I've been to Australia twice, so they have some whoppers, but um, yeah, it was pretty big, and I did make a noise, kind of like, maybe a bit louder. Anyway, managed to catch it on the end of the tube, put it in the bucket, took it over the road, and it's living very happily over there with his five other friends. And look what I've just found. Don't know if you can see that. Might not be in focus. Here's a little money spider. I don't mind those ones, you see. Those ones are okay. There he goes. Go on, you can... You can live underneath the under the table there, that's fine by me. So next week I think is going to be a harvest picture draw with me. So I'm really looking forward to doing that. I'm off to go and give myself a big pat on the back for being such a big brave girl and not a big girl's blouse. So I will see you next time. Nanu nanu.